right guys today we're down at jefferson national forest going to do a little bit of camping so enjoy the camping trip with us guys All right, we got it all set up. Short overnight trip. We're gonna cook us up a little bit of grub on the Blackstone and just hang out and enjoy nature, guys. Let's get this grill fired up and we'll see what's on the menu. A little bit of a snack before the we grill up supper here. Looks like we might be having hamburgers, hash browns, and I believe we got a can of baked beans over there, don't we? Yep, we do. We do. I'm looking forward to them. Let me show you a handy little tool. You may already have one, but a Leatherman is a useful tool for camping hunting, fishing, even around the house. I got a couple of them. But if you don't have one, do yourself a favor and go buy yourself one. Hamburgers are starting to fry up nicely. Guys, this is the road we came in on. We come in through Blaine County. But I don't know at this point if we're in Bland or Giles County. I know the line for the two is somewhere near here. But Dismal Falls is back in that direction. There's camp. And the road keeps going. Now, I'm not familiar with this area. But in the morning, we're going to try to do a little hike. And there's a trail right up the road here. And if I'm not mistaken, I was told that it goes over to the Appalachian Trail if I'm on the right place. But the Bland County Survival Man, Mike Reed, told me about it. Had some videos on his channel. If you guys hadn't checked him out, you need to do so. Got an awesome channel. Survival, camping, hiking, hunting, blacksmithing, preaching. But I better get out of the road, there's a car coming. All right, guys, we're going to read a few scriptures here to you. Found in the book of 1 John, chapter number 1, verse number 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he, being the Lord Jesus, is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So now we have some pretty strong words there. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Now we know that we have all sinned and fell short of the glory of God. We was born in sin, but praise God, we can give our heart and life to Jesus. Because if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins. So when we come to him in repentance, we ask for forgiveness. He cleanses us. He saves us. All of our unrighteousness is gone. It's covered under the blood. 
you know, we have something there. But when we're saved from sin, we're no longer to walk in sin. We're saved from sin, not in sin. Because when we read on chapter 2, verse number 1, it says, My little children, these things write I unto you that you sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only, but also the sins of the whole world. Now, you know, in our Christian walk, we accept Jesus. We're going to make mistakes. We're not perfect, but we're not to sin willfully. But if we do make a mistake, we have that advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And when we read on, it says, and hereby we know, we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. You know, we're going to follow the word of God. We're going to follow and do what Jesus said for us to do. If we know him, if we're saved, if we're born again, we're not going to want to sin. He who says, I know him and keeps not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So if you have someone that says they're saved, but they're living in sin, they're not following the commandments of Christ. The word of God says he's a liar and the truth is not in him. But praise God, they can come to that advocate with the father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. They can cast all their cares upon him. You know, ask for forgiveness once again. You know, he's married to the backslider. You know, he would leave the 99 righteous to go find that one lost sheep. And if that's you, you simply have to reach out and say, Lord, it's me. Lord, it's me. Please forgive me. Save me and set me free. But whoso keeps his word in him verily, the love of God perfected. Hereby know that we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought also so to walk even as he walked. We as Christians are to follow Christ. The way, the truth, and the life. Follow him. No man. No woman. You know, I'm a preacher. But follow no preacher. Follow the word of God and Jesus Christ the righteous. Put him first. All right, good morning. We're up and at them, getting ready to break camp. Before we do that, we're going to cook a little breakfast. And uh, hopefully we're going to go on a little adventure hiking. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, tagging along with us. Uh, let's cook up some breakfast. Alright, we're gonna be cooking up some treat, fried treat, farm fresh eggs, and some more fried taters. Alright guys, we're all packed up. Ready to roll. We've been here since about five o'clock yesterday evening. It's now 8.25 in the morning. There's only been two cars come down that road there in that amount of time. So a very quiet place, peaceful. But I hope you enjoyed coming along with us. But now we're gonna go down the road and uh, do a little hiking. And we'll post that video up here a little later. But again, I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.